Hi everybody, Yarn Fairy here. Wanted to share a new channel with you guys. I am now doing a floss tube. I know I promised a million years ago and I probably should have done it because I am way backlogged on what all I want to share. But, you know, life gets going and then you forget things and then before you know it, I forgot to do it. So, anyway, I am very excited to be here. Very excited to be sharing. Um, I wanted to make music for you guys, but I didn't get around to it. Um, I'm not real familiar with computers. We got a new TV and it's still sitting out in the front room. I don't know what to do with it. It's got, it's the smart TV and it's got all the casting and all that funky stuff. And I'm just sitting here going, ah, Katie's like, oh, this is no problem. But uh, yeah, mom got a new phone. She came up from the flip phone generation and is now in uh, touch and pff, it's, it's a whole, it's mind blowing. Technology just races ahead of us. And if we don't keep up with it, we're going to get left in the dirt. <laughs> okay. So, so insert cool music segue. <laughs> pop music. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pop girl. Okay. Um, my main idea for being here, my main desire is to be able to share. We live in the sticks and I'm housebound illnesses, so I don't get to get out as much as I'd like to. So I wanted to join part of the community um, and just see if we can jump in here and enjoy some of this uh, socialization that comes from being online. And um, I, I have this yearning to like give stuff away. I have we're, we're so blessed um, in that uh, we've been dyers for 13, 14, 15 years. I can't remember. A long time. I raised my daughter in the kitchen in dye pots. And so now I can dye fabric and threads, which you will see soon. And um, I just, I want to have giveaways. I'm going to have to figure out what we're doing by the end of this so that we can have a giveaway. Um, but I know that that's my main thing. So I think what I'm going to do is share a little bit of some of the things that we've started making and then a few projects and go back and forth because if I just flash all the projects out once, I think I will bore you no end. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing this peacock garden. Oh, these are needle minders. <laughs> um, they're great because you stick them it would be nice if I could see what I'm doing. There we go. Um, you stick them on your project, on your fabric, when you have a weeds. When you have a frame, you stick your needle minder on, and the needle doesn't fall off. You've got huge honking, well, they're not huge. They're really small magnets, um, but they are super strong. Um, I even have a warning on my um, magnet page thingy that I sell things with. Card. The card that I put my magnets on. Um, it says, keep away from small children because these are not toys. They are definitely not toys. They are hardcore strong and they work really good. That's the last of him. And um, these are beaded. But for the most part, oh. For the most part, they're just like, you know, stuff. These are awesome because like they're see-through. So there's the pink flower and the blue flower, dried flowers, real dried flowers. I just love those. And we have like um, Japanese tensha, tensi, something like that. Vining flowers, a unicorn, pony, unicorn. Um, yeah, oh, and I like resin um, shells. So we have one in pink, one in blue. See how there's little bits of shell in there? And then we've got one in this kind of natural brown color, which I adore. And one, that's a teardrop. And a larger one. Hello. <laughs> a larger one, sorry, that has um, dried flowers and the seashell things. 
So we have 50 million of these. I'm not going to, oh, I was going to say I'm not going to show you anymore, but I love this one too. It's actually got pearls in it. Hey, focus. Anyway, I hope you can see that. It's got gold foil and pearls and little bits of shell. They're just lovely. We got funky little like waves and all kinds of junk. I'm not going to show you anymore. Go to the website. I'll put it in the bottom uh, in the comments. It's uh, WMD Ramble. WMD Wendy McDonald. Ramble.blogspot.com. And you can find all of them there. Okay. Okay, so I already showed weeds. I have a list here so that I can keep track so that I don't go over things 50 million times as I end up doing. Okay. Carolyn Manning Designs. I absolutely love her stuff. I'm brand new to cross stitching, you guys. I started it years ago and hated it and put it away and vowed never to do it again. So this is weeds. I absolutely adore the fact that she's doing things other than just cross stitching. These are the Algerian eyelets, obviously. I didn't know that. They are nifty and new to me and I'm enjoying the fact that you can do more than just cross stitch on these things, you know? I mean, it's more than just the little X. So weeds is a pattern that I had to have because of the Algerian eyelets. It's the only reason I had to have it, okay, you guys? That's why I did that one. My first step into full coverage has been sitting all this time. Like, I don't know when I started this, but it's been like all this time. It's been a couple months, three months, I can't remember. So this is the bookcase. Uh, Amy, Amy something. It's slipping my mind right now. Oh, and I've had, I keep asking online on like Facebook groups, what do you guys do with your thread? Because <laughs> these are my DMC skeins and other people's skeins. They're all just kind of stuffed in here and stuffed into that. And then years ago, I had the good fortune to run into a gal who worked for years and years and years at Anchor, I want to say it was. This isn't even all of them. I can only, yeah. So I have all of these cases full of, and look, it's lovely, usable, completely usable threads. Oh, and then I have one. I'm gonna make a mess doing this, aren't I? <laughs> I have one that I did. This is my very own. I dyed the threads. These are all silks. They're 100% silk and they're just single ply and they're super fine. Yeah, super fine. So you'd want to use them two ply if you were doing say um, 14 count over one, you'd use two ply. I just love this stuff though. Well, some of it you can tell is purchased. Let's see. The rest of it's mine. So, that's an introduction to our threads. That's the single ply. Most of it has more than one ply. Okay. Then I found the peacock. I went searching for cells because I found out how interesting they were for me because I need, like I said, the human contact. And I need to have, like, accountability. Wow, did I ever find that out in a big way. Um, I do really well with stitch alongs, so they're perfect for me. So this is Peacock Garden. There's my peacock. He's got, weren't supposed to do this, wasn't on the pattern, but if you can see his eyes, he's, and I think, did I do his, I think I just did the eye. Yep. But then I did metallics for his crown and in his feathers. I was thinking about doing beads. So every month they're giving us one of these boxes that go around. I think February was the border, which I find very difficult to do as I'm stitching because I get to the edge and I find out I'm a stitch off and I've done the whole line or I've done several lines and it's not, good. but it all works out. And I've learned to frog. These are my peacock threads. These are all pulled from my stash. 
Um, I never rip things. I've never ripped things in the past. I would just continue on at whatever era I was and just keep going. Now I'm ripping. This was my first foray. Well, actually, Peacock, the fabric, was tea dyed and coffee dyed. Coffee stained, I guess it would be. This is our color Moss. And this is uh, Mini Tree Sal by Carolyn Manning. So there's winter and spring. And then I've got room for fall and summer. But I absolutely adore these. They're so stinking cute. It's got like a like a quilting vibe to it. And yet, you know, she still makes little snowflakes. And down here, there's the snowflakes at the bottom. But over here in spring, I thought it was so cute. She put a butterfly. It'd be fun to put like ants or snails or something for summer. I can't wait to see what she's doing with that. Also for Carolyn Manning, it's really great because you can use your stash. You don't have to go by the colors uh, to make this replica. After, let's see. I'm not sure who came first, the chicken or the egg. But uh, somewhere along the line, I was introduced to the Raven Queen, who I love. I also wanted to talk to you guys about storage options because I'm having trouble storing stuff. Um, frames, I wish I had room in this room. It's really loaded with stuff. There's a business in here too. The Yarn Fairy business. So that's just the beads for the business. So I thought I was going to have all these beads left over from projects and stuff that I'd be able to use. Not so much. <laughs> I'm terrible. I keep buying new stuff. Anyway, this is my Raven Queen. I just love her. I am in love with ravens. We're doing the Raven Brother Cal. It's a knit along right now. I love the way her dress came out. She's got, it actually looks like folds. And it just blows my mind. This was another one that I messed up on. But shh, I won't tell if you won't. I'm leaving that one. This is what I'm loath to show you because I'm not sure I'm working on it anymore. I might just have to cut it out and uh, or finish off just one and be done. This is the Kaleidoscope Cal. I was so far behind, or Sal. I was so far behind on it that I couldn't really get into it with everybody. So yeah, there's that. So it's over. So yeah, I'm having trouble with it. So this is Raven Queen and here is where I keep her supplies. Isn't that fun? This is a smoked salmon box we brought back from um, Alaska and it's got all my junk in it. I've got my thimbles and scissors and and then I had this problem with um, pens. You know, what do you do with your pens? How do you grid your fabric? Because the whole thing about um, my getting into cross stitching before was I didn't know how to grid. I didn't know anything about gridding. Plus I was working on um, linen, which I don't know, Ada is really easy for me. Um, I can see it and I don't have any problems with it. Anyway, uh, these are washables. So I've been using these. Uh, they come out with spit, so I know they're gonna come out. How do I know that? Anyway, um, this is weeds. And I want to show you the pattern. So here we go. That's weeds. I'm using this magnetic board. I told you I'm having issues with storage and with um, knowing what to do and how to do it. Ooh, I sent you guys a rolling. Um, so I'm trying all this stuff and learning all this stuff and trying to get at it in a good way and figure out what I like to do and how I like to do it. Not sure how much I like this because it doesn't fit into weeds. Little box. Of course, I don't even know if I pulled all the threads for it, but I am going away on vacation here in a few days and we're gonna be gone for 10 days. So I have plenty of time to rip this stuff apart and I'm packing more projects than I am clothing. It's terrible. I expect we'll be in the pool most of the time anyway. We're going to San Diego. So this is another one. This is the Kaleidoscope. 
and I, I have these boxes from um, monthly subscriptions that I'm in, was in. This was Therabox. Uh, this other small one is Feeling Fab. You can find these at Crate. CrateJoy. CrateJoy.com. Hey, I remembered something. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. Let's see. The other day, I got a little happy because Carol and Manning. Oops, I put Carol. <laughs> Carolyn. It's Carolyn Manning. Um, has two new cells, and I jumped to get into them. Um... The first one has been open for a while, and I need to do some touching up, which shouldn't be a problem, because like I said, I'm going away. That's the thread pack. That's my own threads. And for these, I dyed my own fabric, which I adore. This is hamburger. Nope. Halloween Hamlet. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Halloween Hamlet is this cute little village that goes, you do a border, a kind of a nice, about a one inch border, and then you have houses all along and they're all different. And then she's starting on the inside already. So I got some ketchup to do. Shouldn't be a problem, but look at this, how beautiful this fabric is. It's just gorgeous. So every Hamlet will have a different color. The other one that she opened is snowflakes snowflake stitch along i think it's called so i dyed the fabric for that sorry i'm trying to figure out which is the right side and which is the wrong side i think this is it and this one it's got you know the snowflake so um this should be perfect too i dyed it in the quadrants again different colors i paint i marbleize i do sprinkles whatever floats my boat but here's the thing I was also dyeing silk on the same day for samples for um, embroidery.com. And what did we do? We did uh, Caribbean under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea, take it from me. I don't know how he sings that. What's his name? Little Mermaid and his name is Sebastian. Hey, I remembered something. Anyway, that's our under the sea colorway. This is our eight ply. So when you get it, you can take it down. Uh, because it splits, so you get extra bang for your buck with eight plies instead of six, and it's cheap. I haven't figured it out, but I saw that um, silks cost like, what was it? Eight dollars for eight yards, which is just insane to me. Ours are going to be at least half of that. Is that how you say it? At least? Okay. I go on with more projects boring you silly uh, what is it needle needles and threads I think is a blog and this gal goes on and on about this book and how she wants to change the pen and ink drawings that you're supposed to color in into embroidery and I for hours went and listened and read and went crazy with this gal and everything that she was trying to do and teach. And once I got this in, I understood why. This is the pattern that she used. And she goes on into every single item, like the vines she does in backstitch, but she does them gradient. So it was like light and then she did a medium and then she did a dark and they all lined up so that it faded and it was absolutely beautiful. I didn't get far enough into these to see what she did with these, but this is my, well, I have two favorites. I love the tree house. I think it's just so cute. And there are like little things hidden inside of a lot of the pictures. Like there's a spider in that one. Ew, ew, no spiders, please. There's butterflies in this one. I absolutely love it. It's a gazebo and it covers two pages. I like the two pages because you can spread them out <clears throat> from the middle and insert fairies into the middle. The one that I really like though, I should have marked these things, yeah, yeah. Um, thought I just passed it. 
Oops, I can't find it. This is amazing outdoor scene. Oh my goodness, poke me in the eyes, people. Stick me in the eye with needle. Yeah, wow, I can't find it. Anyway, it's a two-pager. It's absolutely, hey, there's a key. What do you know? I feel like I'm cheating. I showed you the house one. Showed you the gazebo one. There's owls. There it is. Two songbirds, one squirrel key. What on earth does that mean? Does it mean it's in the beginning? Is that why I missed it? Show sure enough. Here it is. The reason why I like this is because I loved gardening back when I could. And I was always planting something. And this is all about a growing happy garden. She's got another one that's like um, a garden shed, a shovel, some tools and stuff. And it's so it's like, you know, and the, and the seedlings. So it's like the garden getting started. I don't know which one I'm going to end up doing. I just hope that I end up doing one of them and not flaking out because I love this. Another future project that I've been gathering stuff for. Something I don't know how to do again. Cross and patch. This is sunshine and flowers. And I just love it. There's two ways of doing it. This way with all the different hard anger sap uh, sampler stuff. Um, and then this down here, which is really pretty. And this up here. So I would have to learn how to do all that stuff, which is right up my alley, like I said, because I am self-taught and everything, and I just love it. Um, or there's this way of doing it, which has um, words can be written in, which is kind of cool. So I've been gathering my goodies, but as you can see, I don't need to start another project, you know? I really don't. First time buying um, Pearl Cotton, too. I need to learn about that stuff and how to work it. Okay. Another salad. I can't help it, you guys. I am so bad, I know. Okay, so this is Fabi Riley. I think that's how you say it. And this is put out on her blog, fabiriley.com, R-E-I-L-Y. And this is gonna be a box. It's my first time working on Even Weave. It's my first time working on 32. Really tiny. So not what I've been working on at 14 count. And so far, this is, let's see, we did the back stitching the first month, then we did the cross stitching for that, and then we did the em embroidery, what do you call it? The, okay, so the next time there was like back stitching, all the vines and stuff, and then there was like these guys, which are really cute cup sequins, and then the beads were added on. And since I don't know what we're doing, I know that we're going this way and we're going to finish the box and then the bottom is down here or the sides or the inside. I don't know how she does it. I'm wondering if we're decorating the inside. Wouldn't that be fun? And then wouldn't it be fun if the vines like went all the way around it? That would be cool. Okay. So yeah, I'm terribly head over heels for sales. This comes out in another week, but I think I'm going to wait two weeks before doing it or two editions or whatever you want to call it um, because it's so quick to just bang it out and finish it up. One of the other things that I started that I am probably going to finish this but won't get on to the rest of it is Secret Garden by Carolyn Manning. I love her little flowers. I think she just does <clears throat> the best job with them. She does good work and it's always really pretty the things that um, the way they come out. Here's something that I really don't have anything to show for it. Oops. I'm going to have to pick them up later. This is my um, Hade, H-A-E-D, Heaven and Earth Designs Spangler. This is uh, Sanctuary of Knowledge. Sanctuary of Knowledge? Yeah, that's it. And it's so cute. It's like pixies and fairies and things flying all over the place and flaring. And then there's grandma and grandpa on their rockers by the fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then the grandkids. And then there's like cats everywhere and dogs and 
pixies and it's just it's it's and a big huge bookcase which if you know anything about me I'm an avid reader and there's a bookcase out front that's just to die for it goes on forever okay and this was um I didn't know that another one that I love is long dogs long dog samplers um so this is another um hand dyed fabric I love it and this is Pilgrim, which is really fun if you ever get a chance to do it because um, she has a bunch of like stuff in there and, and uh, informative stuff and it's neat. And, and, and you get to like catalog everything, which is really cool. But uh, where's Pilgrim? Oh, that's right. So that's the other thing about Pilgrim. This is, and I, this is our one ply silk, which is perfect on the 14 count Ada. So it makes a nice thick, oh, it's so soft, you guys. I may have to make this into a really large pillow or <laughs> I don't know what, it's big. So what do you do with this? You know, if you don't hang it on the wall, it is so soft. I love that they put animals all over the place. I think that's nifty. This is one that I've been really excited about. This is another one though. This is Sal's Carolyn Manny again. A lot of Carolyn Manny. This is Flower Diamonds. And see the border, it's off by one stitch. I was so bummed by the time I got out here. I was like, no, don't tell me. You know what? <gasps> Maybe it's not. I'll have to check that out again. I'm gonna take this one down with us. This is a hand dyed fabric, obviously, <clears throat> and I, I find I love working diagonally, painting like a whole slew of colors. I've done um, mostly purple, blue, and green because those are my colors. That's why Peacock, I had to do it because I knew he had to be purple, blue, and green. So here's another storage. Just a box, you know, and I'm thinking... My threads are kind of, they're okay. They're not quite too jumbled yet, but then I haven't been working on it for so long. Maybe that's not gonna be a good thing, but I don't really know yet because I'm not experienced enough. Sorry about the slam. Okay, so let's see. Raven Queen, Kaleidoscope, Secret Garden, Pilgrim. Where's Sansus? <laughs> Couldn't be any bigger if it bit me, right? I mean, there if it jumped up. How do you say it? <laughs> you know how you say it. So here's Sansus. This is our, see, so Long Dog did end up with a sal. This one is through Lakeside. I want to say it's Lakeside in the UK. But that might be um, the other gal. I don't know who's putting this out. I have to find that out. Or you can just search uh, Sansus. Long dog sampler, and you'll find who's put it out. And of course, now that I want the knob to come off, it won't. So here is my Sansus again, hand painted fabric, again with all the animals. Isn't this cute? And this is just DMC 310, but in here, you can see our single ply cobweb, the fine, fine thread that we use that you can double up. This is just back stitching that I did on it. So I think they're mostly up here. So as well as, you know, having the issue with the storage and stuff, I've also had the issue of what to do. I have a uh, carpal tunnel and I have um, SLE lupus. So it gives you a lot of uh, aches and pains in the joints. So I've tried just about everything. I, I started with one of these. I went to a Morgan stand. Then I bought a, Oh my gosh, stay away from these, you guys. Steer clear of this. I ended up throwing out the box so I couldn't return it. This is a lap stand. I'm not even gonna say the name. <laughs> you probably know. If you don't, just be aware. You put it in here, right? And as soon as you go to work with it, it pops and the thing snaps. And this thing comes out. I've tried to glue it in three or four times. I've hammered it because it's got a nice sharp edge to it, but nothing, nothing has worked. So that's kindling. <laughs> um, and this, 
this I love. This is my easy stitch frame. Easy stitch? It's easy stitch, right? You'd think they'd burn a name onto it or something. But anyway, um, I absolutely love this. I was thinking about getting another one. And instead, I bought the cheap lap stand and regretted it. Pay once, cry once, I think that's what my husband says. Yep, totally regretted it. Okay, so that's Sans Seuss, Fabry Riley, Snowflakes, Halloween Hamlet, Mini Trees, and last. <sighs> so I just found um, Chatelaine and fell in love. Um, she's got spring top knot, spring knot garden. And it's beautiful. It's all these pale pastel colors that I don't normally like at all. And normally I kit and I don't worry about the threads, but this time I've got three or four empty here that I ordered. I actually ordered because I hand painted all these guys, you know, and they're all perfect to, you know, the threads, the colors that came up on the monitor anyway. Hopefully they're perfect. Um, and I had some crystals. She puts crystals, you guys. Swarovski crystals. I just, it blew my mind to see these beautiful crystals on this gorgeous piece of work. It's just, it's not even a piece of work. It's a piece of artwork. Chatelaine is, Chatelaine is just amazing, amazing stuff. She's got, um, like England will have, um, the beef eaters and the oh yeah holy cow it's got the tower it's got the bridge and it's got big ben and these are down there and then you know the beef eaters are marching around it's just it's amazing and then like scotland has thistles everything has like depth and meaning beyond just a design um and the designs they're just amazing she's got um everything you could imagine, like rainforest and um, Sahara, everything, every place is like, there's, it's been done. And it's a good thing too, because unfortunately she's passed on. Her daughter or granddaughter or niece or somebody is in charge of the business now. And I just hope that she gets back around to doing stitch alongs because I really enjoyed kitting this. When I first came to all this, I was like, kit, kit, you want me to kit? Cause, uh, I had never heard of it. You know, I'd always been doing dimensions or whatever, trying to do dimensions. The last one I got in, I ended up tossing again. So, um, yeah, I think it's in my daughter's room right now. She ain't doing it neither. <laughs> but then she's got Andromeda. We're kidding. Uh, Andromeda from Hade and Mini Kitty Miss or something. It's all these cats and they're all over the shelves and there's all the yarn and the fabric and the sewing stuff. And everything's just all over the place and it's a glorious mess and it's rainbow, rainbow bright. So it's so me. Anyway, Chantelaine is in here so far because that's all I have. Um, the pattern doesn't exactly fit. I don't know what I'm doing here, but yeah, hopefully everybody will fit in there because there's not much thread left at all. Uh, I've got some DMC coming in like four or five skeins and a couple of silks and that's it. So nice, easy one there. Uh, let me just share real quick. I went to L and S L and S D stash on um, Facebook and was able to find these things. I want to learn how to do candle wicking. It's a little seven inch project, so it shouldn't be a big deal. This is just adorable. We have two generations of bunnies on our property every year, and every year they just keep multiplying. <laughs> it's great. I love it. This is another little learn to kit. This was just beautiful. I thought my daughter might like it. This, the gal, one of the gals, um, because it's like an open list, everybody sees what you're buying, um, said, you should use glow-in-the-dark thread. Could you imagine? I love cats. Did I already say that? We have two kittens. One of them is over there. She sleeps there all day, and then JT usually sleeps over here. He's my kitty. I love him. Oops, something fell. This one is more candle-looking, but what I really want to try is heart anger. So... To that end, I have a book, or several books, Hardanger Cloth, and I'm ready to learn. 
I've been out buying all kinds of garb. I thought I was going to use this for my hades, but man, it's so small compared to 14 count Ada. This of course, you know, it's not really small because you use four of the squares, but then you got to think about it and you got to remember that you're using four of the squares and sometimes my head doesn't work so good because of the SLE. So anyway, another heart anger. And then I bought this 28 count even weave. And I'm hoping I bought a bunch of other fabric because, you know, we're in the business. So I'm able to um, wholesale and I'm waiting for it to come in. And I'm hoping that it's going to look like that. And I went and bought samples from Hague too. Whoa. All my stuff is bagged because of the animals. So uh, they're slipping around over here with my fabric. <laughs> okay. So this is Belfast 32. And I'm sorry, but that just seems really fine to me. Graziano? That stuff is just like, whoa. That's linen, right? Looks like linen to me. It's got all slubs. Monaco, which seems really nice and um, you can like see them. Lugana, which I'm stitching on for Fabio Riley, which is kind of cool. Ariosa, which is very airy. This is a 22 count. Oh, here's Hardanger. Look at that. I didn't know what I was getting. This is a long time ago that I ordered these, and so I didn't even know at the time. Anyway, I want to do Hardanger really bad. So the Hardanger kit, I already showed you that. Okay. Was the other Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so on our website, we have a page called um, Cross Stitch, and so far the only thing that's up there is some cloths that haven't sold. A lot of our cloths have sold. So this is a long bell pull. It's basically pink, or excuse me, ah, blue, blue and purple. It starts blue and it goes, blends down to purple. I find that I love working either long, making the blends, or diagonally. Just, I love painting this stuff. And it would be great to do like a super dark background with white, all white, like those roses I saw. Um, anyway. Uh, before I go on, I'm going to tell you guys, I was in the Love to Stitch Challenge at Embroidery.com. I love hanging out there. Those people are so great. And then they're, um, for the, for the challenge, they gave away, I just, I still don't know how they could afford to do this, but they gave away a frame, a six inch frame. So I got the two bars and these two bars and knobs, a whole set. There was like 260 people, I think she said. They must be really rolling in money in order to do something like that. Because I can't do something like that. That's huge to me. Um, anyway, um, what did I tell you about that? Oh, 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 the Love to Stitch Challenge. So, um, <laughs> you know what? It didn't come back. Something about the Love to Stitch Challenge. Never mind. Anyway, um, this one is pale blues through green into purple and brown. You know what? I'll just open her up. Like I said, these are all on the website, and they're super cheap. They're not like what, um, you know, people normally charge because I'm so into going below market value. I like to stay under market value because I don't like, you know charging too much for my stuff and I love to do it so the more I can do it the happier I am this is blue violets and everything's set you guys you never have to worry about anything that you get from me because I treat it as if I'm gonna work on it and wash it which I don't wash stuff but now that I've got these chemicals on it I'm gonna have to this is dark brown $11 for a 21 by 13 inch piece and you can see it's got all the modeling and stuff in it and oh 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 this is my only Lizzie and Kate it's a mystery which of course is has been seen by now so you get I got the whole kit all the beads and junky things that go with and that's the sampler and it's got all the um, gel arts threads and weeks dye works which is funny because they're mine you know they're identical which one is mine? This one. So Weeks Dye Works. Floss collection, it just says cotton floss. Well, 
Never mind, it looks just like mine silk. Some of these cotton? Huh. And that was just the whole thing of buying this thing, I think, was because it's, um, it was the whole kit, and I had never had a Lizzie and Kate, which is kind of cool. Okay, so, what else we got? This is one that I made. Okay, so I, w I was trying to say when I said about kitting that I'd always bought from kits before, and I am just having a blast kitting up stuff, which I, I... Please, I never thought I would enjoy it. I thought, what a hassle, what a headache. There's no way I want to do that. Not so much anymore. I'm really enjoying it. So I told you I love ravens, so is it any surprise that I have never more? Cow, cow, cow. And what I did for it, there's the DMC, and then I went with all these hand dyed. Actually, I think these are cotton. Yep, these are all cotton. Aren't they pretty? And they pretty much match what uh, the thing requires. This is for the raven, though, you know, because he's this big guy in here. Right? He's kind of the biggest piece. I dyed our raven colorway. <laughs> How perfect is that? I just love it. Okay. Oh, yeah. More fabric. Purple, blue, and green. My peacock. Some samples that we're sending off. I love, like I said, doing the diagonal. I didn't work too hard on that guy, though, as you can tell. This one was supposed to be used for something. I forget what. I think, I'm not sure what, but I, I got the centimeters, inches wrong. But isn't it gorgeous? It's what I'm calling my landscape. So I guess it's way down. So you got the blue at the top and the green at the bottom for the grass. So like if you have like a sampler that's not edge to edge, that would be perfect. This is our brush steel colorway. I think some of these might not be on the website, come to think of it. This, I just painted another landscape. This I was thinking more of like, it's more like a beach. I think I was calling this something to do with the beach because I went with the sandy color down at the bottom and more of a sea color, but I don't know. How much green is there on a beach except for maybe palm trees? We have, so far, right now, two different kinds of threads. I'm hoping to get um, a cotton in next week that um, hopefully it'll work for this. I'm not sure. So this is all I dyed this week. This is bamboo, 100% bamboo. And it's a lot like silk with the hand, um, but it's not silk. Yeah, oh guys, I've been dying like a crazy fiend it looks like. <laughs> this is peacock. This is my one ply silk. And this is bloody hell. You can see why. I don't have a name for this guy yet. He needs a name. I'm not sure I like him, though, so I'm not sure I'm keeping him in the collection. He might not get a name. He might just go right back out to where he came from. These are silks, by the way. Did I say they're eight-ply silks? And then I dyed all these. Not all these, like, not the bright colors, but, like, the more muted colors were dyed for, um my Chatelaine and I didn't like them. So they went back in the sample bag. Yeah, these ones, you can tell because they're small. You know, see how bright it is? They came out just a little too bright for my liking. So they're going back. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with these. I know that I'm sampling my dye technique. I'm getting it set. I do know that I can positively tell you that this is bloody hell. There are many different reds in there. Love it. This is Peacock, I showed to you. Oh, I know what this is. Royalty is the blue one. Imperial? Wait. Royalty and luscious. Is it really luscious? I can't remember. I'll have to look up the names of these things. but um, And they'll end up on the website eventually. 
um, taken down into small skeins or you can buy the whole bloody thing for all I care. You know, you want the whole thing, you can have it. Okay, <laughs> this was a big mistake. This one I dyed thinking this was diamond flowers. Okay, you guys, <laughs> look at how big it is. <laughs> Again with the diagonal and look at the depth of color I got in here. I think that's the right side. Yeah, you can tell with all my sprinkles. I'm a sprinkling kind of gal. So yeah, <laughs> diamond flowers a la holy cow big. It's a good thing I want to do diamond flowers on a pillowcase because, um, oh, black hole. Woo! Do you see that bus? It just ran that way. Oh yeah, because I don't have um, much of a of a edging to it. I don't I don't necessarily want to frame everything because anyway, you know I, I was thinking you could get like fat you could get four quarters out of this, you guys, which is probably what I'll end up doing, chopping it down into fat quarters. Um, but if there's interest in this massive piece, please pin me and I will make it happen. Okay. We never did talk about, okay, so now that you've seen all the junk, now we need to talk about the contest. Contest. And I'm going to have to write it down or else I'll forget. Gee, did I really get through everything? Wow. In less than an hour. Unbelievable. Okay. Now that you've put up with me all this time, the contest is, you comment. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is like. Then you're going to subscribe. Then you're going to push the alarm bell. Okay? Alarms. Notifications. Then you're going to comment below. And you're going to comment your name and the person you referred. And you're going to refer a friend. It's the telefriend. Let's see. How did it go? Uh, herbal Essence. And they'll tell two friends and so on and so on and so on until your whole screen is filled with all these little happy faces. Um, so yeah, okay. And then you say the name of the person you referred and then that person has to come in and sign in. Is this too much? Wait till you see here what I'm gonna give you. What I'm gonna give you is a needle minder. At least one, maybe two, I don't know. Depends on how crazy I get sorting the stuff and packing it and making it all nice, nice. Um, a smattering of our bamboo, a smattering of our silks, the two different kinds, and a fabric. Okay, so you're going to have a nice little bunch of stuff that you can play with. You can make your own design. You can um, just pull little pieces and put little things together like ornaments or bookmarks or whatever. Or maybe I'll get crazy and give you a big piece of fabric. Not the one yard, heaven forbid. But um, yeah. Okay, this contest is only open in the United States unless the winner who is outside of the United States wants to pay for shipping because they charge us $25 to get it out of the country, even if it's four lousy ounces. I kid you not. It's ridiculous what they charge. I don't understand because like China, their China post is like cents, uh, yens. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So it's kind of crazy hard to uh, send anything overseas. So like, sub, alarm, comment, the name of your friend. Make sure that your friend comes in because that's the last part of getting in to win this fabulous kit of all of this stuff. Okay, now, as Yarn Fairy and the Pixies, I am obligated to at least give you a small smattering Yarn. I know pixie number one is not here and it feels sacrilege to do it, but c'est la vie. So, changing gears here. Some of you floss tubers, I've seen you all, you knit too. So, this is Danny. It's for a cal that we're doing. We're famous for mystery knit alongs. And I don't know if you call it famous. I guess we ain't famous, but. This is a small sampling of the shawl sample that I made, and it's a swatch. So it's going to be ripped out and redone, and I'm not sure that I am going to knit it that way. So I feel like I can share it with you, you know? I can share that it's a sal, but... And, you know, it's, it's a dead giveaway. I am doing cables. I think I already told you guys that 
for the bits that are coming off. Beyond here, this thing grows exponentially. I believe it's a six wedge, but it might be even larger because it's got the faroe shaping inside of it too. Let's see, Danny's beads. I hope you can see them. Yep, uh, ruby red, silver lined. And then we've got three mil. Um, these are blue red and these are garnet, I think they're called. And that's for making, okay, this shawl has, it's a dragon's wings because she's the mother of dragons and it has the spine of the wing really hard three-dimensionally through the shawl and it's beaded. I'm so excited. I don't have all the colors in here. They're outside drying. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're through that window. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's too bright. That's too bad. Um, Cause they're gorgeous. Y'all gotta come back and just check that out. So the other thing that I'm doing is either a Mobius or a cowl and I haven't decided. And it's off of Danny's costume. This is Game of Thrones, by the way, in case you guys are like, Danny who? Um, this is Red Priestess. It is my garnet colorway. Um, and which is brand new, by the way, if anybody wants it, holler, I can make it into anything. Um, here's JT, you wanna say hi to the people? JT, come here, kitty. Hi, my boy, my sweet boy. There's my JT. We rescue. Isn't he cute? He's got a bow tie on. <laughs> okay, we can go. Baby, be nice. Okay, so garnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, I couldn't decide when I bought the beads. They look like crimp beads, but they're not. They're actually metal tubular beads. These go on the edge, so there's going to be like, you know, the normal garter stitch edging. And then the design calls for a bead. And so I decided that these Toho bronzes were just amazing with this yarn. So I'm going to be knitting this and Danny as I go away. So I'll hopefully come back with some samples that we can photograph, put the pattern together and bang. I was going to say something. Garnet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So Danny, uh, the costume it's this current season is in, um, episode two I want to say it's a green dress and the thing that I got the inspiration from was this crisscross pattern that's knit across her chest or I don't know maybe it's not knit I don't know what it is she's got some real funky costumes this month year with the fur with the red and I don't understand but anyway um this one was just very striking it was the green with the red lines still coming down and the lines are very hard and so where we have like those hard lines we've got beads and we've got texture and so you can either choose to do the mobius or you can choose to just do a cowl and either way it's going to work out really nicely i'm excited so and raven's brother is on raven's brother oh 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 you guys you know how oh 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 i almost forgot this so i'm taking raven queen with me to um our vacation and I'm hoping to have her finished when I come home. All I have left, all I have left, is the back stitching and the millions of beads that go on to it. So I decided that I needed a sticky. So I have a sticky. It's flat and small. So I can put my beads, 15 million different kinds and colors and everything, inside this, on the sticky, close it up, and I'm portable, which is really important to keep your beads intact. I'm probably going to stick it inside of a um, zipper bag to give it even more um, strength. <laughs> our cats dress up. I know dogs dress up, but our cats dress up. So, Danny. Oh, oh, oh. I knew I was looking for something. Oh! <laughs> I'm knocking you guys down. That's just great. Where did it go? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I learned just today how to make my very own tabs for needle minders so I can make 
my own needle minders and I've mislaid it. Dang it. I wanted to share it with you. This is why everything's bagged. I don't want anybody getting kitty delight in their house or nose or whatever. Not good if you're allergic. Okay, yeah, he's gone. I made Sam and Dean on a cab. Sam and Dean. I just freaked out too because I was like, ah, this is awesome. So I learned how to do this for Raven. Everybody who is part of Raven is getting one of these. And I will be able, there he is. Ha, ah, I'm so excited I found him. Okay, I hate doing a video and feeling like I didn't finish um, because I forgot to say something or couldn't find something or whatever. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> a lobster claw type marker it can be placed for crocheting or knitting and it's got Yarn Fairy logo on the back and Raven. Raven's brother on the front. I just think these are the coolest things. They almost look like little patches of leather. You know, because the way I finished them. Aren't they cool? So that got me going. And then I made this. My needle minder. Sam and Dean. I can make anything I want to now. The whole world like opened up to me. I was thinking of making a little tiny logo and putting like yarn, like like a really awesome minis or something all scrunched down and made real pretty or just a rainbow of yarn or something or I can make cross stitch and put that on there anyway I see see I had to do this because I'm so excited so now I have to upload it it will be overnight because it literally takes our sticks internet that long to do subscribe like alarm comment, share with a friend, and come back, because I'm going to do this again. This was fun, and I'll be able to, next time, I won't have all this to say, and it'll just be like a little quick 30-minute update of everything I'm doing. Hopefully, I'll get a board together and have pictures for you so that it'd be nice and easy so you know what I'm talking about, put all the sales on one side, put all the projects on the other side, and you can see where I'm going and how far I've gotten in between. Oh, 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 Mini Kitty. Did I tell you about Mini Kitty? We're kidding. I told you, we're kidding Andromeda and Mini Kitty. This just blows my mind still. I found this girl on uh, Ellen D. D. Stash. That's what it is. Ellen B. Oh, bother. Anyway, it's Ellen something D. Stash, and it's a cross stitch only. And uh, the girl there, Lisa, the L, um, sells DMC brand new floss for 35 cents. So definitely head on over there. I'm sure there was more to embroidery.com. I love to stitch challenge. That's what it was. The reason why I got that neat frame was because I participated for 30 days in her I love to stitch challenge. She's also having more challenges coming out soon. She was just videoing and she talked about two different challenges that she wants to do. Um, and then to have another larger one later on. Um, so it's embroidery.com at Facebook. Um, and the great group of kids. I just love them. I love being able to go over there and I think having that challenge made me feel really at ease there and I helped a lot of other people to feel at ease to post there. We posted the beginning of our day and the end of our day, our projects, what we did that day. And the challenge was to stitch for 30 minutes a day and I hit, you know, hours sometimes. But that's how I got Raven Queen done. Um, who else did I work on, JT? Sansus, I think I was doing so. so anyway, um, yeah, I love challenges. So if you all know of a challenge, please do comment and let me know. Ha, see, there was something else. We make chatelaines now too. They're for scissors, not projects. They're not beautiful projects. Um, just a beaded uh, thing to put your wiggy in. And I was thinking, you know, I had such a hard time deciding on this little cutie fairy chick and I was thinking I could now make little discs to put on this too which is cool anyway chatelaines the scissors are available too the scissors are really cool they're floral I call them floral they're so sharp and wonderful for snipping threads anyway they're only like I don't know 
Merci beaucoup.